Hi everyone, it's Kyle with Range NRV and behind me here is a 2020 Rockwood Mini Light 2506S with all the newest updates on it. Uh, we're going to take some time to go through construction features um, and some of the great things that make Rockwood an amazing travel trailer. This floor plan features a private rear uh, bedroom, uh, middle bathroom and a really nice front kitchen with a U-shaped dinette slide out, all under 26 feet. The way we have this one ordered in, it comes in at 5,300 pounds dry, uh, but please check our website out for a availability as well as the options that we ordered them in. Let's take a moment to talk about what has made Rockwood the number one selling laminate trailer in North America for the last 21 years, and that is construction. Starting from the ground up, you use a steel powder coated uh, frame, I-beam chassis. Uh, you have a six sided aluminum frame, so there's no wood framing in the front or the rear wall. All your fiberglass is a vacuum bonded seal method. Um, your roof is a fiberglass, fully walkable. Your floor is a 5 8 marine grade tongue and groove plywood floor decking. Um, it's super solid, it's not a particle or chipboard on there. Your sidewall with the vacuum bonded fiberglass, you have your uh, block foam styrofoam insulation, your double welded uh, aluminum framing on there as well too. And then your roof is also a vacuum bonded, so it's perfectly sealed, there's no air gaps or anything with that. You have your block foam styrofoam. With that, your AC is ducted throughout your roof, cut into your styrofoam as well, so it's an insulated AC duct in the framing. All the cabinetry in the Rockwoods are all real wood, so again, no particle chip press boards. It's a solid wood cord. This is a side cut of the maple there, um, so you have real pocket screwed cabinetry in the Rockwood product. Going up onto the roof, you have a vinyl roof, so it's a little bit stronger than the rubber roof membranes. Uh, Rockwood does come with a 12-year manufacturer's warranty on that. And lastly, going back to the ground, is going to be your axle system. Rockwoods are built on a torsion flex axle compared to a leaf spring axle. Torsion, each have independent suspension. So a leaf spring axle all moves as one, torsion are all independent. So it's going to be a smoother ride with less road shock, which is going to make your unit last a lot longer. Something really cool about the 2506 is that it has a full outside kitchen, which isn't super common in a couple's coach trailer. The new 2020 outside kitchen as well, there was some changes from previous years. So something new Rockwood did across the line is they went to this new griddle. So instead of the barbecue style, now you got a griddle. If you want to do pancakes, burgers, bacon in the morning, it's really flexible. It mounts to the side of the trailer, but you can also take this off, use it at your campsite, all that kind of good stuff. And it does come with the RV quick connect, so you can plug it right into your system so you don't have to to bring more propane. They give you even a flipper, which is something you don't see in every other trailer. You also have a nice little side table that's removable as well for all your condiments or any additional items. It's made from steel as well, so it's okay to be exposed to the elements, not gonna break down over time. Coming back to the new kitchen, so last year they had a pull out barbecue. This year with the griddle, they went to a two burner stove. So you got your barbecue, you got your two burner stove um, and your mini fridge. So this is a 12 volt mini fridge with an ice box in there. So easy for grabbing drinks, all the little stuff you want on the outside of your trailer. On the back side behind your two burner stove here, you also have a water port. So you have hot and cold water access. Um, this is great for spraying off feet, the mats, anything like that. Um, and you have hot and cold water right there. So it's everything you kind of need in a little outside kitchen on this one. While I'm out here too, touching on the latches, Rockwood does all magnet latches on all their storage doors, which is a really nice feature. So you're not gonna have any of those plastic clips. Underneath your 17 foot awning, you have outdoor speakers, you have a bracket for your TV. So this turns into your out, a really nice campground. This is where you're gonna be spending the most time Time, uh, not hopefully not inside the trailer so we have a ton of features out here to make your camping experience a lot better here we're on the back side of the 2020 Rockwood 2506S. Touching again on construction, you have your fully laminated rear wall of the Rockwood. Some cool outside features that Rockwood does in their mini lights, you have an antifreeze inlet. So when you go to winterize, you can do it on the outside of the trailer, so you're not going to inside digging through all the cabinets and stuff. You have your city water connection and your cable and satellite at a really nice convenient location. 
This is your fresh water fill up. The tank sizes in this little trailer are absolutely massive. You have 58 gallons of fresh water capacity, 60 gallons of gray, because you have a gray, two gray tanks, one in the kitchen, one in the bathroom, and then you have 30 gallons of black, which is really nice size tank sizes for this one. Back here, you also gonna have this removable storage, which is really nice for long items, or if you're putting dirty stuff in there, you can pull it right out, spray it out, leave it a lot cleaner. Something new to the 2020 um, is going to be the two inch receiver on the back here, which is perfect for bike racks, maybe a flip down rack for a generator, any accessories like that. Um, you have all of them come standard with a ladder to get on the roof. Um, on this floor plan here, you also have black tank flush. So a black tank flush is awesome to have so you're not having to put the hose down your toilet there. There's sprayers built into your black tank, so when you hook it up to the outside, it sprays it out, leaving everything a lot cleaner. They give you a ladder because you have a full walkable roof on there. Your slide outs are walkable as well. Um, this one is prepped for a backup camera. So you can, there's a power line already there. You can add the Furion backup camera, um, which we sell in our parts department and you can have us put on or it's really easy to do yourself as well. Touching on windows as well while we're back here, Rockwood does all frameless windows, which are really nice aesthetically. But they also offer some benefits. This nice big rear bedroom window open. Say if you leave your trailer and come back and it's raining, you don't have to worry about water coming in because they open, they tilt out on it. Also, your seals are gonna be protected for a lot longer. Um, they're not exposed to all the UV rays on there too. So on your off campsite side, you have some additional features. You have a full, another outside shower. So along with that front side one, you have an outside or backside outside shower with hot and cold water. A new thing that Rockwood did in their 2020s as well is all their slide out windows, they went bigger. Um, they can do this as well because all their slide out walls are all vacuum bonded and they're framed in aluminum. So they have that structural integrity to cut a big window in there as well. Uh, another thing Rockwood does is whenever they can, they want to give you the most additional storage. Also make camping a little bit easier. So this is the backside of your U-shaped dinette. So instead of lifting up all the cushions trying to get to that storage axis, they give you a really nice access point to the outside. Um, and also all their dinettes are going to be framed in aluminum so it's going to last a lot longer because you guys are going to be sitting bouncing around all that kind of good stuff on there. So this is a really nice outside storage area on your backside of your trailer. So on the front side here, you have a full automotive grade windshield in the Rockwood line. The whole RV industry is kind of moving towards windshields in trailers. Rockwood was, has been doing it for three or four years now as well, which is really nice. Uh, full automotive grade, so if you ever do get a chip or a crack in it, you can get it filled just like your car windshield or replaced like that as well too. Rockwood gives you the larger 30, 30 pound propane tanks. You have two of them with an auto switchover regulator power tongue jack, even their motors in their power tongue jack and their um, awning are a little bit faster than the industry standard. So you're just getting that, again, that little bit better quality in the trailer. You got room for two six volts on the back there, as well as this one's equipped with power leveling jacks. Um, it's not something we always put on our trailers, so please check our website out. But this one features the P PSX2, which features two motors. So there's a motor on each side of the jack, so when you're pressing the button, they're moving up and down a lot quicker, um, so it's a lot easier. Again, Rockwood's just more about making camping easier and better. All right, so we're inside the 2506 2020 Rockwood Mini Light. Rockwood has a ton of features to go over. Um, so we're gonna start with this front kitchen area and kind of work our way through the trailer. So right away, you'll see the nice big front windshield um, right in front of your kitchen. So if you're doing dishes or just hanging out, brings in a lot of natural light. Um, it's also a really nice viewpoint depending on where you have it parked in your camping. All of your blinds in the Rockwood are gonna be your roll, uh, pull down shades. Your countertop is a real solid surface, so it's not a pressed membrane. With that, you have an undermounted stainless steel sink, double, which is nice. In the back corner there, they give you some electrical outlets and USB ports that pops in and out of the countertop, which is amazing. The main feature of this floor plan is going to be this front kitchen. This counter space is absolutely amazing. You have tons of area to prep, have uh, appliances set up. You're never going to be needing some more counter space. It's very residential. On the back side here, you have a larger 21 inch oven. This is the size of ovens you see in the big fifth wheels. With the glass top stove cover on there, uh, you're gonna have tons of room, additional counter space, and a full size oven if you ever need to do some baking or anything like that, or it's an additional large bread box. Overhead, uh, you got your full microwave up here, and then you have full cabinetry on the top here, and then to the 
left or the right, depending where you're watching over there, is kind of like your full pantry area as well. So you have tons of storage, look at all the drawers, cabinetry, all the space in here. It makes it really residential for a small trailer, so you have tons of storage if you're going on those longer camping trips or anything like that. Um, as well as your fridge, your fridge is going to be an 8 cubic foot fridge compared to industry standards about 6 cubic feet. So it doesn't sound like a lot, but those extra, extra 2 feet really makes a difference over the long run in these trailers. All the cabinetry again is that real hardwood, um, pocket screwed and glued, so again no particle or press board uh, in the Rockwood mini lights that they have to offer. So on here, on your control panel here, um, you have some really cool features. So you have your internal light, so a lot of your lights are on a main switch. You have your porch scare light, your LED awning light. This is going to be your Wi-Fi Ranger. So your Wi-Fi Ranger is going to be a Wi-Fi booster as well as a Wi-Fi modem. So you can get a SIM card, plug it in there, and you'll have your own network. Or you can pick up other networks and boost it inside your trailer there. You have all your tank monitoring systems. You do have two gray tanks in this coach. Your water pump. Um, you can switch for your um, hot water tank here, it's dual electric and gas, so you can choose your heat source from inside the trailer, which is really nice. We equip, we equip this one with tank heaters. So the tank heaters are 12 volt heat pads on each of your holding tanks, as well as you have a bit of heat trace on your dump valves as well, and you have a fully enclosed underbelly. So you have a bit of an extended season camping package with these mini lights. And then you have your uh, slide out controls and your awning controls there. So in the mini light fridge, you have an eight cubic foot fridge. Again, going above the standard industry standard of six cubic feet. The eight cubic foot is amazing. It's dual electric and propane, so you have the two sources on it. Um, inside here, we'll also find the controls for your heated mattress that Rockwood Mini Light includes with there. Um, so you can plug that in and keep you nice and toasty. They also include a tire pressuring monitoring system. So each tire has um, individual monitoring cap uh, capabilities. So you put this in your vehicle, and then you kind of know where your tire pressure is out to reduce uh, blowouts. Um, also to the to the side here is your entertainment unit. Um, new to the 2020s as well as in the mini light series they're giving you the sound bar as well as you're going to get the electric fireplace that does give off heat which is really nice or you can just leave it on the no heat setting which is kind of the ambiance right now. You have your mounting swivel bracket, Bluetooth streaming with a DVD player built into it, as well as an additional charging station for all your 12 volt accessories, which is really nice. Okay, check it out. We're in the bedroom of the 2506. It's amazing. You have a full walk around queen bed. You have wardrobes on either side of the bed, overhead storage. You also have night tables on both sides of the bed. So if you want to plug in a CPAP machine yourself or anything like that, you have the night tables and then you have 110 power outlets on either side of the bed. This mattress again, it's an RV queen, but it's heated as well so you can plug it in. There's five different settings so you can be nice and toasty warm. Underneath the bed here there's some more additional storage. So you can see they frame everything in aluminum, even the bed. You have some additional storage here. And you have a couple extra drawers here as well. So anywhere they can put storage, they're going to give it to you in the Rockwood. Behind me here, you have an area for another TV bracket. You can mount one there. You have a pop-up 110 outlet and USB chargers, your cable outlet. This is just a service panel, but if you need access, it's already set up, ready to go. You have two huge windows that both open for a nice cross breeze, along with a roof vent three AC ducts, more speakers in here, and you have a furnace duct in here. So you're gonna be very climatized for whatever weather you're camping in. So check this out, I'm 6'5", and I'm able to stand straight up in this mini light shower. They give you a nice glass door shower, which is nice, so it's not a curtain, keeps all the water in, uh, but you got the little skylight in here that give you some extra headspace as well. And behind me here is a shower miser system. So pretty much what this does is it's gonna save you water by recycling it um, into your fresh water tank instead of just draining down into your holding tanks there. Um, there's some additional info online about this. Um, Rockwood tries to, whenever they can, is give you a full uh, linen closet in their bathroom. So you again, additional storage in this trailer. This bathroom also has AC ducts, heat ducts, and in the roof here is you're gonna have your max air fan with cover. So it's a fantastic fan that works off battery power, uh, gives you really nice airflow throughout the trailer. In your medicine cabinet, you have your medicine cabinet above and below. 
And in a smaller bathroom too, Rockwood wants to maximize your counter space. They do this by building up. So you have a nice little second shelf here for toothbrushes, little cup, towel rack, all those kind of nice things. Little feature they do is also they give you a siphon 360 on the top of your black, um, black tank. What that is gonna do is gonna create negative pressure. Uh, so it's gonna draw out all the smells instead of the um, smells coming back into your trailer. So this is a really nice little mid bathroom in the 2506. So we're in the U-shaped dinette slide out. Having a U-shaped dinette gives you a ton of options in this floor plan. So number one, it folds down to a really nice big bed. So you're gonna have in between a queen and a double and about seven feet long. So it can fit two adults comfortably. And then you have your master bedroom in the back there. So you have two nice sleeping areas. This table's removable, so you can take it out, put it outside to your campground, bring it into the kitchen if you want more additional counter space, or just sit back, put your feet up, and watch your TV as well, which is great. Going to the U-shaped dinette, you get storage below as well. So it gives you lots of options. Either side here, you have your bigger windows in the Rockwood floor plan uh, with tons of cross breeze. This window opens as well. All your polar blinds drop down and all your slide out walls are vacuum bonded in the Rockwood. So it's really solid structure in this floor plan. Thanks for taking the time to watch the walkthrough video. Uh, my name is Kyle. If you have any questions or concerns about this mini light, please reach out to me directly at kyle at rangelandrv.com. If you saw value in the video, please like and sub subscribe and give us some feedback on what we can do better as well too. Thanks for watching and happy camping.